Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Gluck. I'm going to share a story to, with you today called You Matter by Christian Robinson. And Christian Robinson lives in Hollywood, California, and I guess he was born in 1985. And during that time, he loved to stay in his room and draw. He lived with his mom and his and his aunt, and um, he loved to draw so much that he started to drop and become an illustrator of books. He wrote The Last Market um, on, well, let's go back and see. Mrs. Gluck has a little bit of a place we can go to see a little bit more about him. It says that he, it made, drawing became a way to make space for himself and create the kind of world he wanted to see. He studied animation at the California Institute of the Arts and would later work with the Sesame Street Workshop and Pixar Animation Studios before becoming an illustrator of books for children. His books include Gaston and Antoinette, written by Kelly DiPuccio. That's at Whiting Lane, I know that. And the number one New York Times bestseller, Last Stop on Market Street, which was written by Matt De La Pena. So that was awarded the Caldecott honor, which is like a big deal uh, for picture books. He also received the Coretta Scott King Award for, um, a, for having books with African-American characters. And he got the Newbery Medal. Uh, it says he still lives in California with his rescue greyhound Baldwin and several house plants. He looks forward to one day seeing the Aurora Borealis. And you can visit him online at theartoffun.com, which I think sounds kind of interesting. So it's fun to go and check out your um, authors and see what they're all about. And this is the book that I want to share with you today. All right, so this book is called You Matter. And I think now with all that's going on in the world, it's really important to think about how everyone matters. Um, right now, people who have brown skin, who are African American, really matter the most for us because they have been mistreated for so long that they are protesting for peace. And so um, while Black Lives Matter, and you may have heard that, um, you matter in that Black Lives Matter quest. You will make a difference in the world just by being a kind and good and equal person. So let's read this story and let's see what we think when we're finished. Um, here's the inside cover, we call that. And let's see, you matter. I love these dots. You can see where his paintbrush made the marks. Makes you want to make dots with a paintbrush, doesn't it? This is dedicated for anyone who isn't sure if they matter, because you do. You Matter by Christian Robinson. The small stuff, too small to see, those who swim with the tide and those who don't, The first to go and the last, you matter. When everyone thinks you're a pest, look at mosquitoes. Do we find a real big use for mosquitoes? No, but if you're a bat, you do. <laughs> you matter to a bat. When something is just out of reach, Look at, I think we have to look, oh, this poor Tyrannosaurus Rex has an itchy bug bite here from that mosquito. When everyone is too busy to help, you matter. If you fall down, Looks like a meteor, right? Coming to Earth. Look at all the dinosaurs. That looks scary. Or if you have to start all over again. Even if you are really gassy 
I think this is supposed to be the sun, which is made up of gases, but you know, we can be gassy too as people. You matter. Sometimes home is far away. And look at this girl. She's up in space and she's really far away. It looks like she has a loved one here on this photograph and she's looking down at Earth. But you don't have to be in space to be lonesome for your home. Sometimes someone you love says goodbye. Sometimes you feel lost and alone. But you matter. Like, look at all these people here. You would think, okay, how can you be really lost and alone if you're in a big group like that? But sometimes being in a big group like that, you even feel more alone if you don't know them. That's usually a good time to smile at someone and say hello. I always find that helpful. Old and young. I love the way he did these leaves on this tree. It looks like he did a couple of fingerprints and a couple of dot, dot, dotty, dot. I like that. The first to go and the last. The small stuff, too small to see. You matter. It's like this boy is in an airplane, right? Sometimes when you're up in an airplane and you look down at all the buildings and they look so teeny, 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 you feel like you really matter. Then you get closer to Earth and you feel teeny, teeny, and everything else seems big, and then you feel like you don't matter. But you do. You matter so much. You matter to your teachers. You matter to your parents. You matter to your friends. You matter to your neighbors. You matter to you matter to many people that you probably don't even know their name, but just smiling and being kind. You matter. And look at this. I love this. I love this. This looks like one of those parachutes you get to play with, right? Miss Wilcox sometimes gets out the parachute. I love that. Oh, it is a parachute. Look at that. You know, I think when I looked at the first page, I was thinking that it looked like, let's see if I can get back really fast. I thought it was more of, I was thinking it was like a parachute. But it's really one of those big parachutes that you play in, not like a parachute in the ground. I love that. You know, when you play with the parachute, everyone has to hold on to the edges to make the best big balloon of air. So everyone matters when you play with the parachute and everyone matters in their classroom. Everyone matters in their neighborhoods. Everyone matters. And remember, you matter. To me, Mrs. Block will look forward to seeing you in the fall when we have school. Hopefully, we'll be back. And um, make sure you do your summer reading. Mrs. Block is going to talk to you a little bit about that. Oops, sorry, that's Mrs. Block's dog. <laughs> um, Mrs. Block will be waiting for you when you get um, back to school, and we'll check on your summer reading because Mrs. Gluck wants you to bring me in a paper that says I did my summer reading. Okay, thank you and have a great summer. Be safe, um, wear your helmets on your bikes and wear your seat belts in the car and wear your masks when you go outside to stay healthy and um, try to have a really great summer and read, read, read. I have one more book I'm gonna read to you. Maybe your teachers will share it with you. Okay. Bye.